Welcome to the Daily Prophetic Word and the Daily Prophetic Word for Monday the 18th of November 2019 is I am at the door. I am coming for my bride and I am already at the door. I am knocking and whoever opens I will sup with him and he with me. I am coming not physically but spiritually and the spirit of Elijah will run before me as it is written in my scriptures. I am at the door. Repent and pray that you are accounted worthy to escape all those things that will come unto the earth. Change your life and come out of the world in Babylon. Leave your careers, your worldly desires and the temptations created by the enemy. I am at the door. I am coming right now and I will collect my bride. Forty days will my spirit stay on the earth before I and my bride will move into the clouds. Be ready, because I knock at your door. Open for me, and you will take part in the wedding as my bride. Ready to move into my father's house, into the third heaven. And this was a daily prophetic word given by the Holy Spirit for Monday, the 18th of November, 2019. I am at the door. Believe it, people. Believe that Jesus is now here. His spirit will move through the earth the next 40 days from the 21st of November to the end of December. He will move through the earth. You will see many things happen within the next week and starting from there. Many wonders and miracles will happen. And he will knock at your door. You will have experience. You will have visions. You will have dreams. Open up. Open your heart to receive him. He is coming to rescue you. He is coming to take you to his father's house. He is coming to collect you as your bride. Please listen to him. Open up. Pray as you have never prayed before. Repent of all your sins. Change your life. No sins in the next 40 days. Please do not go back into your worldly life. Just now, stay outside, stay out of the world and out of Babylon, because Jesus is here. His Spirit is here. He has shown to many prophets that this time, the first time for the escape, it's not about his physical appearance. It's about his spiritual appearance. The same with Elijah. Elijah is not coming physically, but his spirit will move before him. You might have a dream and vision and experience of Elijah, of restoration of all things, of calling you to return and calling you to bring your heart close to the Father or to Jesus. This is the spirit of Elijah, preparing the way for Jesus that he will come and knock at your door. So if you're convicted of sin right now, sins of the past that will come up right now, so do not wonder. This is the spirit of Elijah preparing you so that Jesus can visit you. So if you are reminded of old sins of the past, then repent of them again. Even if you have already repented, repent again. Say that you are sorry and that you have changed and you will not do it again. Because this is the spirit of Elijah who want to restore you and your heart back to the Lord. So that Jesus can come and knock at your door and say, now it's the time, my son, my daughter, we are going together to the third heaven, to my father's house, as I have promised you. So if you feel that conviction right now, repent, cry, pray, fall down on the floor, whatever you have to do. But please, open up your heart so that Jesus can come in. Thank you that you have listened to this daily prophetic word. And I will remind you now every day about it until the 40 days will be over, because Jesus is here. But you have to open that door for him. Be convicted. Stay under his wings. Be obedient to him. Walk the walk that he did. Repent. Do not say everything is forgiven, forgiven. I don't have to do anything. The Lord is here. His spirit is here and he wants to take you. But he can only take a bride without spot and wrinkle. So if there is anything left that the spirit of Elijah will convict you of, repent right now. So that you are clean and holy. 
so that Jesus can come and can collect you and take you to the third heaven. Thank you that you are a follower of our ministry. Thank you that you listen to these messages and that you follow them and that you repent because the kingdom is at hand. I love you all so dearly and I hope I will see you again tomorrow. Have a blessed day. Maranatha.